Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be talking through my thought process and explaining why I am making all of the decisions that I am making in a game of World Tour in the finals. For anyone that doesn't know, there's the ranked mode, which is terminal attack, and then there's the World Tour mode, which is just normal cash out, uh, like how ranked used to be. And if you win at this and you do well in it, you get free multi bucks, basically. So I thought I would just make a video on this. So. I'm playing light right now, and I'm playing light with the bow. This is not the best loadout, especially for this game mode, but I'm playing it because I like it. If you lose in this game mode, it actually doesn't matter. You don't go down points, you can only go up points. So losing doesn't super matter, so I'm not really worried about bringing in the absolute meta and all that kind of stuff. But if you did want to do that, then I'll probably talk about loadouts a little bit later on in the video. But for now... We load in, we go to the vault that's closer. I wasn't sure which one was closer, but then a teammate marked vault one, so now I'm just going to vault one. I do have sonar grenades on, so I throw one of those in to see where everyone is, and that just lights up the area. I do try and throw a pyro grenade. No, I tried to throw a sonar grenade through the door. I don't think it quite worked though, because the door is closed. Then I throw a pyro grenade. I'm able to get a pick with the bow there. Now I'm just gonna res. I know no one's around this immediate area because of the sonar grenades, and then I just get a res off. Always good to keep your teammates alive. I try and shoot this person, I just miss, and then they kill me because the LH1 is super strong right now um teammate does finish them off though and now i am going to get res so sonar grenades in that first fight were very very useful recently they got buffs their range was increased and now they're just very very useful so i see the people here that have the vault um just running and i'm just shooting them a little bit what if my teammates does actually make the right call here i get a tiny bit of tunnel vision those people and then i'm like oh yeah that fight doesn't actually matter. Let's probably go to an objective now. So I'm going to this objective with this teammate. They are stealing the cash out. I shot a sonar grenade because I suspected there might be an enemy there if they were trying to steal the cash out. Sure enough, a couple of lights come down. We kill them both. And that sonar grenade is still there and no one else seems to be around here right now. One teammate has marched the top of that building. So I'm kind of looking at that while I'm stealing the cash out. Both of my teammates are doing very, very well to stand in front of me. And then we're able to finish off the last one. They probably shouldn't have tried to do that. They probably should have tried to res their own teammates or something. That wasn't a very good decision from the enemy. But very, very good for my teammates to stand in front of me there while I was stealing it. That's like a big brain play. If ever you're stealing a cash out, it's good for your teammates to try and like protect you. Um, so that you don't get killed, because if you don't get killed, then, I mean, if you do get killed, then you have to try and steal the cash out all over again, right? So that was good for my teammates. I am solo queuing here. I'm just solo queuing in this, so, um, you know, bit of RNG, how good your teammates are, but I seem to have solid teammates in this match. Nothing is happening, and I think something is going to happen in a second, so we'll skip to that. But yeah, sonar grenades are really, really good. Probably bow is going to be not fantastic. I just really like it. So if you want to play light in this game mode, you should probably be using the LH1 and the sonar grenades as your main things. And then it's kind of up to you whatever else you want. Like maybe evasive dash, but you can make cloaking device work if you really want to. So I think one person just kind of comes on their own there and we just pick them off. And not, not much else now is going to happen. Um, so I'm just going to skip to whatever does happen next. So we ended up getting the first cash out and now we're going to wherever the next next objective is. One is already in and the other cash out is behind it. But what's going to end up happening is both of the vaults are going to go into the same cash out. This is just normally a bad decision and I don't realize it at the time, but it could work out for us. And that's because we're in second place. So if pink also gets this cash out, then we're still going to remain in second place. So we actually want pink to get this like us or pink but we don't want anyone else to get it because otherwise we're not going to be in second place uh, because pink will be... Well, now we actually just came into first. So basically, when you're in these types of situations, before you enter a fight, you should always look at how much cash you have and think about if you actually need to enter the fight or not. We didn't actually need to enter that fight. We should have stayed far away and been ready to, you know, eliminate anyone that we actually needed to. But as it stood, before we entered this fight, we definitely didn't need to fight pink. And now we're in first place, so now we like definitely, definitely don't need to fight pink at all. Um, so we should have stayed far away. I didn't think about that in time, so... Like, I, I just, I didn't look at the scores, which is what I should have done. You should always look at the scores before you go into any fight. Um, and I probably start realizing it in a minute or two. But right now I'm just trying to like, shoot the enemies, because I think that we need to get this cash out to have the best shot at winning. That isn't the case, so do just make sure you look at the scores. The team gets wiped there. I'm missing so many bow shots here. This is probably like the worst clip in this entire match. I miss so many bow shots, even on that light there. I do end up dying to them because the LH1 is very strong. One of our teammates actually stole the cash out, but the problem is pink has been wiped and there's only one of us left. 
So this probably means that someone else is going to get the cash out. But because Pink got wiped, they're now on 11,000 cash. And if we get wiped, we're still going to be ahead of Pink, I think, anyway. So even though Orange is going to get this, they just stole the cash out. Teammate tried to stop it, but they weren't in time. So now Orange is going to get this cash out, but we're still actually going to be in second place. So I coin as soon as I can here because our teammate was very close to dying and our other teammate does the same thing. We both coin so that they wouldn't die so that we would remain in second place because if we got wiped there, I don't know if 19,000, I don't know if 30% of 19,000 is less than 12,000, which is what pink are on, right? So if we got wiped there, there was a chance that we would have been put into third place and that wouldn't be very good. So. I, I just tried not to get wiped. Both my teammates are dead. Right now, I don't open this vault straight away because I don't know if the other vault is open. And then the other I see that the other vault is open. And now I open this one. Because if one of them is open, I want both of them to be open. Because if one of them goes in, I'm probably going to want to put this one into one of the other cash outs as well. I know that sounds a little bit complicated, but if vault 5 goes into one of the cash outs... One of these vaults is worth 22,000, so that means purple could be in first place and then we would go to third place and lose the game. So if vault 5 goes into a cash out, I also want to put vault 6 into the other cash out. But I see that no one's moving that vault, so I figure I'll just throw mine away because probably no one's going to come here and put this into cash out A and cash out A is pretty far away anyway. When I think that no one's going to have time to put this one into A, I go over to vault 3 because I just want to make sure that no one's putting 3 in either. It is orange that has it, has it. I should have like paid more attention to that. Now I kind of realize it's orange that has it. Um, what I should have done here is just go res my teammates just to make doubly sure I don't get wiped. But I don't really think anything's going to happen. So I just spend some time shooting at these people because I we're not going to lose now. Like 20 seconds left in the game. Neither of the vaults are going to into either of the cash outs. So we're just going to win. I sh definitely should have res my teammates because if I do get eliminated... It doesn't actually matter if I get eliminated, but it, it's just safer not to. It's always safer to not get team wiped. Uh, but I'm just having some fun here with the bow, just some bow practice, and we win. And now I am going to go on to the next round. So it is round two, and we are heading to the first vault. I pop it open. I'm getting ready to throw a sonar grenade, because normally there's people around that area, but they're actually over here. So I throw one into the elevator, so it'll hit people on the other side of the wall. And I'm getting a ping, but I, I don't see it, so I'm kind of looking around for that. And then I see two. I thought that person was going to come through the door that's over there, but they didn't. They went up and around. Um, I get a couple of shots on that heavy. I throw a pyro nade. It doesn't hit the where I wanted it to. Then I get killed by the LH1, because the LH1 is really good right now. Um, so yeah, I just die there, and now I am spectating my teammates. What are they going to do? I don't remember. We're going to find out together. But yeah, I mean, they tried to... 1v1 that person they did actually kill them but if you're ever the last person on your team it's kind of your responsibility to go res your teammates and stuff like that so if you're ever the last person on your team you probably should just go res your teammates instead of trying to finish off whoever's left even if it's a 1v1 it's still a little bit risky especially if you're medium it's going to be a much safer option to just go defib someone and now suddenly that 1v1 is a 2v1 and that's probably going to go a lot better for you right but the first fight of the game is always the best one to lose because whenever you respawn, like here, now we know that Cash Out C is the right Cash Out to go to. I'm actually really happy with those bow shots. I thought that was a pretty cool kill. Um, and now I'm going to whiff all of the other ones. <laughs> the life of a bow user. I get a shot on this person, actually, and now I'm going to try and kill this light as well. I actually do do pretty well here. Just so just bow is really fun to use, basically. But anyway, just shooting these persons, I've, these people, rather, I've... Uh, thrown in a few sonar grenades there. I see this person is underneath. I go help my teammate out with them And now we are going to wipe that team I am actually going to get shot at here and then I'm gonna run away, but I got shot at by a sniper I'm not gonna realize it until they finish me and then it kind of like focuses on them and I can see their glint in the distance So there's a sniper here. I could have written it in text chat Actually, maybe I should have done that just so my teammates knew as well because we all do take a good bit of damage from this person still now that I know they're there, I go to a position where I really don't think they're going to be able to hit me and I just steal the cash out because we want to have the cash out before the team that we just wiped respawns and comes over here again. I try and take a shot at him. I didn't think he would headshot me, but he headshot me and then I died. So that wasn't a really smart thing to do. You probably shouldn't peek a sniper, especially if you're light because they can one shot you. So I'm getting rezzed again here and now I'm very aware of the fact that another team might be coming here. We actually are getting detected by sonar grenades. So I'm just very aware of that. The enemies are now here. I try and throw a grenade there. 
Um, yeah, and with this medium, I just, I do something I shouldn't. If they have the dual katanas, don't shoot them in the face or at the body. You have to shoot them in the legs or on the sides. And I shot them in the face and they were deflecting and they deflected my arrow back at me. Then I died. So that was just a really, really awful play by me. And this person, I'm going to say to frag the cash out because now would be a very, very good time to frag it. Because uh, if they threw the frag grenades, then they would just blow up anyone that was around there. They wouldn't have much time to get it. Um, but they were able to just do it with the LH1, so I say nice, and then I get revived. Um, so just a pretty solid fight, that light there at the end just defended the cash out really well with the LH1. It was, it's, again, the LH1 is very powerful, they even say it themselves. <laughs> um, so yeah, we get that cash out, and now we are in first place. Are we gonna stay in first place? We're gonna, no, we're gonna be in second by like 200 cash. But we're just gonna go open the next vault. Um, as soon as you finish the objective, you might as well just go to the other one. There's not much point in looking for kills or anything like that. Each kill only gives you 200 cash. Killing people is not how you want to be playing the game. You want to be playing the game by playing the objectives. That's what it's all about. Um, so I just go open the next vault because it gives you 1,000 cash and it gets the next part started. I see a medium coming across the zipline. I thought it would be cool if I could kill them. So I try and do that. Uh, melee with the bow is very powerful. I don't actually know if I killed them with an arrow or a melee there, though. But if you're using bow, you want to definitely pair like held down arrows with quick arrows and also quick melee. That's going to be your easiest way to eliminate um, opponents. So a teammate here marks cash out C and cash out C is closer, but I don't want to go to cash out C. And that's because Vault 4 has only just been opened, which means it's going to be a little bit late. And a lot of people complain about third partying in this game. Third partying is a problem because this game mode has never had a proper ranked system. It's never had a proper ELO system. It's never had good skill-based matchmaking. So everyone in this game, like no, no one's uh, particularly intelligent in this game. They're not really thinking about the best way to play this game mode right now. So if I put that vault into Cash Out C, Cash Out C would have got third partied and that wouldn't have been good. Or even both of the vaults would have gone into Cash Out C and that's also bad for us because if both of the vaults go into one Cash Out, you have a 25% chance of getting it. And if two vaults go, in, go into two different Cash Outs, we have a 50% chance to get it. This person shoots at me because they don't want me to put this vault into this, this cash out. And so I type in the check set, I say, I want four to go into C so that we don't get third partied. So what I mean by that is if I put this into cash out D right now, all of the other teams are going to be like, ooga booga, it's in cash out D, let's go to that. And we're going to get third partied by two teams and Vault 4 is going to go into C and it's going to be late. So we're probably going to lose Cash Out D, third party at Cash Out C, and then probably lose that as well, because there will also be four people, four teams rather, at that. So it's statistically, it's just not very likely that we're going to get either of those Cash Outs. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting for Vault 4 to go into Cash Out C. As soon as Vault 4 goes into Cash Out C, I'm going to put this into D as well. That way, we're most likely only going to face off against one team. This also does depend on the other teams. If they're smart, two would be at each one. One, one team defending and one team attacking at each one, because that gives everyone the best chance of success. Um, but that's actually not what's going to happen. I don't know how long it takes, but people are really taking a long time to put Vault 4 in. So it's also not smart from the other teams here. Um, I'm kind of playing with the other teams here in a sense. Sometimes you've got to play with the other team. If I put this in, it's bad for us and it's bad for them. So why would I put it in? If I don't put it in, if I wait for four to go into C, that's good for everyone. So I would obviously much prefer to do the latter. Um, a bonus of this is that the longer I wait to put this in, the less likely it is that another another vault is going to go in. So this is probably the last cash out that we're going to have to defend. It takes two minutes in most situations for a cash out to um, happen. And you can see there's two seconds of overtime. So there's only two minutes left in the game. There's not going to be a third cash out. So this is going to be the last one that we have to defend. So again there, as soon as C went in, I put D in. And now we're only most likely going to have to defend against another team. So I will skip to that if it happens. Yeah, so in the last round, we just won that cash out. No one came to that cash out. Everyone third party at the other one for the rest of the game. There were three teams at the other cash out for the rest of the game. And we weren't countered at all. So we just got that cash out completely to ourselves without fighting anyone.
Um, so we, we didn't really have to do anything there and there wasn't much to show. I get killed by the SH-1900. For anyone that doesn't know, the SH-1900 was buffed now. And it is solid. It's like pretty solid again. It's hard to use, but it's very good. Um, so I get eliminated there. And this person's going to pop off with the LH-1. They just get a couple of kills. And then I am not going to get res. This person's going to res the medium. I switch to the medium because they're probably going to defib me. And I don't think they know where my totem is. I think they're looking for it. So I just mark it a little bit just to help them out. Then I get defibbed as well. The enemy team wasn't wiped, so there is someone around still, so I threw a pyro grenade on these people's totems so that I can get a couple of hits in. I think someone tries to snipe me, um, so I'm just going to go eliminate them real quick, and now we're going to be putting Volt 1 into the cash out. So we're defending here, and a teammate in a second is going to say there's danger up there. So I figure the enemies are over there. I break open a window, and I'm going to use my evasive dash to hop up there. I see someone here. Um, I melee them, because now if I hit them with a bow shot, they will die. But I just get the assist because I melee them. I throw a sonar grenade down there in case anyone is going to try and do a sneaky steal. Then a teammate marks the cash out because you gotta play the objective and not chase the kills. I get a nice headshot there. I think it was a headshot anyway, or they were just low. But a headshot with a bow on a light does eliminate them straight away. It one-shots them, so headshots are very cool when you get them with the bow. Very satisfying. But we're just at cash out uh, A here, just defending it. There should be one more, and I think I am going to see them actually. I think they're going to be over there. They had a sniper. Um, there's not going to be so much they can do right now. What they should be doing is resing their teammates. And what, what one of our teammates, I think, is doing is either trying to finish them off, which is cool because then we get a team wipe, or camp the totems. But I open up the scoreboard there, and I see they've already been revived. So then I say group up so we can all stay here and all fight them off together because maybe we're going to get picked off by the lights here. Like, lights are hard to play against, um, especially since one of them has the double barrel. If you don't know that they're coming then it can be really, really tough to, to do anything to counter it. I throw a pyro grenade there, just because uh, that means even if I die, it's going to take them a little bit longer to steal the cash out. Just buy some time, really, which is why I like it. Um, so we're just going to get that cash out, and I am going to go on to the next one. So we go open the other vault, um, and then I'm going to put the vault into the cash out. I think earlier on in the video, I said I was going to talk about loadouts a little bit, so I figure now is a pretty ti good time to... Do that. We're gonna lose this next fight, and then we're gonna have another attempt to go back at it. So while all of that's happening, our teammate here does say one of them doesn't have coins. I check the scoreboard, and that's a really good shout out, um, because if th the teammate that doesn't have coins dies, and we just camp that totem, it's gonna be really, really rough for the enemies to do anything. So I throw a sonar grenade there, and I just, I this one didn't show up on the sonar. I guess it just didn't hit them. And then all three of the lights. Uh, showed up here. So it was a poor sonar grenade for me. I threw it where I wasn't going, so I was kind of like surprised when I entered the area and everyone was there. I am going to get rezzed here, but while all this is happening, I'm going to talk about the loadout. So for the light, for this game mode, you're gonna want the LH1 on right now because it's really, really powerful, or the SH1900. They're both really, really, really good picks. These people are dead, so I'm gonna throw a pyro grenade so that they can't be rezzed easily. Um, for the medium, oh no, sorry, for the light, sonar grenades, very, 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 very powerful. And then other two uses are up to you. I like pyro grenades and the thermobore. That's pretty much up to you. Evasive dash is going to be the most solid right now. Um, you can use cloaking device if you want, but evasive dash is pretty good. Then for the medium, you're going to want defib, you're going to want healing beam, and you're going to want probably AKM, FCR, or model 1887. That's what I would go with. And then probably a zipline or a jump pad for movement. And the other stuff is up to you. For the heavy, you're gonna want flamethrower, RPD, dome shield, and probably barricades, along with either charge and slam, mesh shield, or the winch claw, and or even the goo gun. Honestly, you can pretty much use any specialization for the heavy, and that's gonna be a very, very solid loadout. That's just a quick breakdown of the loadouts you're gonna want in this game mode. Um, we do lose that cash out, so I'm going to skip to what is going to be the final one, and whoever gets that is going to win this game mode. So, we are approaching the final cash out. The enemies open the vault and they put it in. We had a little fight there, but there's not much point showing it because it wasn't around an objective. So, I'm going to show this fight. I throw a sonar grenade because the enemies are throwing theirs. I see this person is coming around, so I figure they're going to pop out here. And I get a nice little headshot on them and I do eliminate them. Sonar grenades are very, very, very good with the bow, I find, especially. Uh, but also, they're good with everything else as well. Sonar grenades are just pretty powerful right now. So, I was trying to open the scoreboard there to see if that person has coins or not and then i realized they don't so i threw a pyro nade at it so the last teammate can't coin um i mean so that the it's harder for the enemy to rest them 
And I know there's a sniper over there somewhere. I marked them so my teammates know it's just them as well. There's only one enemy left. It's only that sniper. Two of the totem, two of the enemies now at this point don't have coins. So if we kill this person, we're probably just going to win. I push them because, you know, I can I can probably 1v1 a sniping light. At least I would have been able to if I didn't mess up this evasive dash. They keep firing some arrows and just not really hitting any. Um, so they get away. I don't think they're going to go and rest, though. I checked the scoreboard just to make sure no one else is alive so that we actually are allowed to push here. If everyone's alive, you don't want to push one person, but uh, only this person's alive. I do end up getting that assist. Jimmy gets the kill. And that's a very, very good time to wipe. Whenever there's like a quarter of time left on the cash out or slightly less than a quarter left on the cash out, um, well, slightly over, rather. You just win that game. The enemies don't have time to come back. They normally get a pretty poor spawn location. They don't have time to do anything, and you're just going to win. So I fire a gas barrel there, um, just so that goes off. So even if they do come back, which they're not going to be able to, they're going to be damaged by gas if they try and do anything. I do the hype symbol, because at this point we're just going to win. Pop up another couple sonar grenades, just in case. Use some thermal boys for a dramatic effect. And then we are going to win that tournament. So, just a last couple notes on it. Um, heavy is the best class sale for this game mode. Heavy is very, very good. Maybe not right now, because the LH1 is pretty powerful. The SH, you know what, actually? Light is a lot better than it used to be right now in this game mode. SH1900 is very powerful if you can aim it. LH1 is very powerful if you can aim it. Um, but the heavy is just really good. The ability to have the dome shield and the barricades and also the RPG is super, super, super powerful. So heavy is definitely super solid in this game mode still. Medium is still very, very useful with their healing beam and the defib super annoying to play against. And lights are kind of okay in this game mode now. I think they're much more usable in this game mode. But again, that's mainly because the LH1 is absolutely busted. But you can use the SH1900 as well. Um... And also, if teammates don't have coins, if enemies don't have coins, rather, camp the totems. Camping totems is very, very, very powerful. I unlocked the Rodan uh, drip here, so I'm just putting all of that on. But uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.